Now to a 13 year old Beatles superfan from Workington. During the school holidays, Logan Murphy and his family went to Liverpool so he could try his hand at busking in the Fab Four's home city. The teenager's magical mystery tour led him to the famous Cavern Club, where even he can't believe what happened next. Samantha Parker has the story. <laughs> Is Logan dressed up as Paul McCartney on stage at the Cavern Club in Liverpool? This is Logan realising his dream. And this is Logan today. No, it's not still in Liverpool. This is his basement at home in Workington, where he plays gigs for all his mates. So Logan, how did you actually come to be playing on stage at the cavern? Well, we went down Buskin. It was my first time Buskin and we stopped at the cavern to get a drink. Got talking to the man on the stage who was singing. Little did we know he was the director of music in the cavern. And we said it was my dream to play on the stage. And so he went away, come back and said, Right, be here tomorrow, you can play on the stage and I'm going to make your dream come true. And, and did he? Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, amazing. So Paul McCartney's actually your idol, isn't he? Yeah. So what was it like standing in the place that he'd been? It's just amazing. I looked across and I could just imagine them stood there and it was... <sighs> so this is probably the hardest question that I'm going to ask you. Do you have a favourite Beatles tune? Yes, it is eight days a week. And why is that? Just because it's really easy to play on guitar and it's just, it's like one of the first songs I ever heard and I was like, whoa, it's, it was just really cool to listen to. Do you hope to emulate their success and go right around the yeah, world? That, yeah, that would be great. So would you like to have hordes of girls screaming or fainting yeah, yeah. for you? <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> And it seems like these in New York that he fancies copying. The Beatles had phenomenal fan support all around the world, with thousands lining the street wherever they went. They played the original Cavern Club in the 60s, the heart of Liverpool's music scene. You know, I, I left him to it. As, I said, don't be nervous, and he just walked up, started playing Helter Skelter, and you know, carried on. He did Get Back, he did Sarge, uh, Strawberry Fields. It was uh, fantastic, really good. To hear someone of his age, yeah, and fearless, you know, but also really good with the crowd. Who, you know, he, he spoke well, and you know, he's, he's great. He's, he's a massive fan and a really big talent. It was just, a, it was just amazing. I filmed it all. It was, it was just amazing to see him. And I could tell by his face, he was loving every second of it. You know, he wasn't, he wasn't under pressure. He just got up, he'd done a 20 minute set, and uh, Nick Robinson, the guy in the cavern, he got up with him the last couple of songs, played the bass, sang along with him. And he was just, he was magical, he was brilliant. His music passion has been held by his teacher at St Joseph's Catholic High School. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of performance opportunities, which he always takes part in. And he's just chosen to study music as one of his options. So just in set, start of September, he's just started on that course as well, which will really help him grow as a musician as well. Logan clearly has the talent and hopes one day to have people screaming his name. Samantha Parker, ITV News, Workington. Nice one, well, Logan. What a performer. Excellent. Go on then. Favourite Beatles number? Uh, I want to hold your hand. Not now, Pam. We've talked about this, haven't we? I knew this day would come. Anyway.